Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you where the rest of the golden gnomes are. So we're going to start with the one that we missed last episode because we accidentally forgot. So it will spawn here. Well, I didn't forget, but I just went past it. All you have to do is come over to this side and then in the cheese fountain, as you can Okay, there's your treasure, that's cool. As you can see, there's a button right there. So you hit it. Can you go away, che cheese left yeti? Cheese yeti now, okay. Treasure yeti. Look, and then you have to... Ja okay, that's about bad idea. Give me a sec. So what you have to do is come over here. This one I can tell you is because it's an easy one. You just have to get it to be the spade. And then you need to go to the other side, as you can see where I'm shooting, there's another one. You need to get them both to be spades and then it will work, which is amazing. There you go. And then we need this one to be a spade and then it works and all you need to do is head over there where the gnome is. This one I could I can actually tell you what you have to press because this one's just only two of them, so it's extremely easy to do. Then we're going because we're doing that one, we'll head to the very top and do the one up there. Oh my lord, <laughs> that's funny. I managed to just miss it, but here we are. There's another golden gnome. That's the 19th golden gnome. Then we're going to head to the very top. So um, I'll bring guys back with near it. Okay, so we're here at the gnome. Oh, okay. Just kill these zombies quick. Pretty easy kill. There you go, done dusted. Nice. Alright, so the gnome will come out of the vent, as you can see, it'll come out here. There is a button in the corner. You press the button and then out comes the gnome. But pretty much most of these you'll need to have tacos. Feed tacos. And then you have to vanquish all the gnomes. You have to do it, it's basically, it's basically a time run, as you can see at the top of the screen. You have to take out 15 in 30 seconds, but then every time you kill one, you get you get, you get get more time. Which is a good thing. Because then it means you don't really have to worry about trying to win constantly or whatever. Um, where are the gnomes? Here they are. I'm not sure if they change, like, per person, but they could, it could be different locations for you, for you guys, but I'm not sure. What you have to do is run around, find them. It's very easy and simple, so, you don't need to worry about it. Oh, why did that go behind me? Out of everywhere it went behind me. Target the shooting gnomes as they are going to most likely kill you. Come on. I'm not dying, dying today. This one's dead pretty much. There we go. You can die as well. The reason I'm doing this is the golden gnomes in two parts is because I didn't want them to be too much of a long video. So, yeah. Okay. The gnome champion is extremely easy to kill. He has like barely any health. Oh, okay then. Can you get out of the way, Yeti? For God's sake. But you, st you do still have time limits, so in a way it's probably better to try and 
take out the smaller ones as quick as possible because then you have more time. Then as soon as you take out the gnome king, your gnome will spawn on the goliath. Which is pretty cool. Okay, I showed you where these ones are. Now we're going to go for the last few, which is in this corner over here. So we're going to go to that one, the one in like building area. So I'll bring you back when I'm near there. Okay, so here we are. The gnome is going to is like is right here. <laughs> Pretty much exactly where I'm standing. In the bottom corner, when it says. You faint to send a you f you sense a faint gnomish energy. It means that you have to find a button, and this one is probably the easiest to find. Not gonna lie, and it's you have to do is come to the second floor up in the haystack. You hit it. Oh, and you get coins apparently. It's always the Goliaths. Give it ten stars, and then you cannot let the um <clears throat> you cannot let the exploding gnomes come near the circle or blow up which means you need to kill them all you just have to stay here for three minutes and make sure none of the exploding gnomes come near you and go in the circle so i'll bring you back when i'm near the end Okay, so I've got 14 seconds left, 10, 9, 8, and I've still got 0, I've got, I only allowed 1 to go kaboom by accident, which is fine, because we still did it, and then the gnome appears and you get a medal as well, for completing that single lap gnome one. And the next one we're going to go to is like, top corner, so if I'll bring it back when we get there. Okay, we're right here, and it's literally in the open next to this hay bale. But then you do have to... Oh, okay, I was, I was heading to the treasure yeti then. But this one is a race. You have to run. Oh, no, okay. Just give me a sec while I clear the path. Okay, let's have another go at this. Because <laughs> I, because the zombies were kind of in the way. So, I didn't really get time to actually do it then. I'm not actually quite sure where we go, because I haven't actually done this, so... I'll bring you back as soon as I figure out where which way around I'm supposed to go. Okay, so it took me like, one attempt to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Or where that corner went. All you have to do is follow me, you can pretty much... I'm guessing be any character. It's completely your choice. All you have to do is just follow the way I'm going. And then you come down here. And then you have to jump across and there's the gnome right there. There you go, done. Golden gnome collected. Nice. Right, we're gonna head to the next one. I'll bring you back when I'm near it or there. It was literally just across this side. I was expecting to have to go around, but I forgot there was a platform there. But then the gnome's just in this two poles. You don't have to do any chasing or anything, which is amazing. Then the last golden gnome, and then we'll just have to do the diamond gnomes. But the golden gnome is over here. It's behind the truck, or it's actually in the truck, shall I say. Pretty much. Because it says the um, set faint gnome energy. Whatever it says in the. I think it, I can't remember what it said in the bottom of the screen. But when it comes up saying that there's a faint gnome energy, it means there's a button somewhere that you have to shoot. So I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so as I okay, I just went back and I'm coming back. <laughs> okay, so when you're in the bottom of the screen, when it comes, okay, it's not doing it now, typical. But there's a button down there. As you can see, you hit it, and then three, four Goliaths will appear, and you have to get them to be facing the or having have the same symbols as 
usual, as you usually would for a glider. So, yeah, it's not too hard, I'd like to think. Except the only problem is, I don't actually know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I haven't actually done this yet, so... So that one's that, and there's a plant pot for this one. Hey, do you mind, bugs? Okay, give me a sec. I'll kill these guys and I'll show you what you have to do. What um, images it is. Okay, so I did it. So you need to get it. This the this one in the corner. So from the truck to the very really corner. These have a trident-looking thing, a hand, and then you'll go to this one. And then this one needs to have a hand, a flower, and a bird. And then this one needs to have a, like a, okay, I need to wait for this to run out, okay, there you go. It's like a pelican and then fence, and then you need to get across, great. I don't think of that. <laughs> Sick. It's fine, we'll just wait 10 seconds. And then this one over here, how are they back again? I literally just killed them. Anyway. This one over here needs to have a fence and then like a hand or a diamond type thing. This one needs a diamond plant and then it needs to have a fence. And then one in the corner needs to have a fence and a um, trident. And then you rotate that and then it's done. And then here is where the gnome spawn, like I said, on the car. I did not mean to do that. Anyway. There we go, golden touch. We've got every single golden gnome. Now we just have to do the diamond gnomes. So that'll be all for this video, guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. So, see you then. Peace out. Bye. See ya.